YouTube, what's good, family? Hopefully we can kill some boredom today. So um, today I got a gentleman, he brought over two lawnmowers and he wants me to get one running for him. Pretty simple, I don't know anything about them. He just said they're not running. He found them on the side of the road and he heard about me. So uh, hopefully I could, you know, do good things so my reputation to stay. <laughs> so let's get it guys. Okay, here's the mower right here, weed eater. It's a Briggs and Stratton 148. And then exact same thing, just a 158 Briggs and Stratton. Instead of 0 0.50 horses, it's an even five. Instead of four point, instead of 4.5, 5.0. That's it, 10 cc's and a half a horsepower. But anyways, let's get it of the two mowers i think i'm going to go with this one just because this one appears to be more intact than that one that has pieces so we're going to go with this one okay i can see that this does not work so we got to see what's going on yeah that's completely broken all right the pull cord isn't up here it's stuck down there but i see the the connector to attach it i guess somebody disconnected it so we're gonna get that situated uh well shoot enough jaw jacking let's just jump into it guys okay first things first we gotta get this situated right here so one thing i noticed is there are grooves right here let's see if i could get y'all a a better view I really can't right there that lets me know that someone was using something like an o-ring or something to hold this where it's supposed to go because it doesn't stay on it's broken so I've done that plenty of times so this lets me believe that this mower is gonna actually fire up guys I'm actually gonna get a, some uh, channel locks or grips or something here to find the sweet spot to get this to, find the sweet spot to get this to engage because you can hear it moving but there is no motion down there so let's get it All right, we got it secured. Well, let's see if that gave us some resistance. Oh. 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 It's moving. But it's too low. So, that's all the pull I have. I'm actually starting to bend it to go. But while I'm squeezing it, you can see there's a down low like down in that area there's a flex point i'm kind of moving let me put you on a tripod uh, okay here we go see how the rope is flexing jumping right in this area so what that basically means is this is a um a stress point it needs to become an anchor point it needs to be secured down to transfer the stress or the tension of the wire down to release the brake easiest way to figure it out is once you put your vice grips or got your top half secure anchored grab it where you see it flexing and you see how it's moving now so that's a good spot easiest way that i found is um a combination of zip ties and electrical tape but this is a flip cheap flip so we're just gonna do a good old tape perfect now what we have to do is 
tape off the location of the top anchor spot to remove our tool. All right. Uh, so now, when I squeeze, it moves. It's a stiff move, but that's because it's not secured properly. Once I secure it, it'll actually move better. Okay. Okay, guys. So I fiddled with this thing for maybe, I don't know, 30 minutes off camera. And it just won't, it just stays tight. It's like ignorantly tight. So I don't know what's going on. I have a backup off a of parts mower. So we're going to remove this. So it's pretty simple. Just three bolts. Two in the back, one in the front. They are a 10 mil. You know that 10 mil is the man. Man. All right. Started recoil. Look at that. Got spider webs in it. <laughs> okay. There we go. Look at I had to clean that out. But yeah, see, there's nothing on it. And that thing is just, it's hard for no reason. Okay, so we gotta pop these two bolts off and this will come out. Okay, here's the brake assembly right here. And this is a 516s. Bam. Now all you gotta do is disconnect your ground wire right here. Bam, that's disconnected. Now we disconnect our good old <clears throat> throttle cable. Let's see if I could do it by hand. Sometimes you can pinch them just enough. Nope. Come on, baby. One side's in, but this one isn't. Oh, nope. I'm seeing things, guys. Got it. All right. See, that thing moves real swell right now. find out with this one all right okay this wire is a little stiff too in there it's not moving too well so I'm gonna lube it up all right so a little oil to get it started I don't have no it's easier if you have some WD-40 you just squirt it in there call it a day you can hear it sounding all gritty in there and I just repeat this process back and forth Now I'm gonna reload, but this time, see, I'm messy, guys, and cheap. This is old motor oil. There, and I'm gonna repeat this process to like a movie by hand. Okay, I got the first screw in. Since the spring is connected, it has tension. So I like to put the left screw in as an anchor point. And you 
Regis line. Your next bolt tuck. There we go. It's on there. Connect that little kill switch. Bam. Oh, I like it to go on the outside personally. So if I need to remove it. All right. Now what I'm going to do is hose it down, get all this garbage and stuff out. And that's just because. I have it exposed and it's dirty and I'm selling it. All right, well, since I power washed it, I got water in the car. Oh, and right here is broken. So we got to address that. All right, now I have it taped off here and taped off there. Now that should transfer power. Oh, yeah, that's move this bubble. Yeah. 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 That's how you want it to be spring forward. Not too much flex up here, too much of a loop. Like this one, you don't want too much of a loop. The more loop lets you know something's moved. If everything, if your cable is properly secured and hasn't been moved, and you start getting a, a bigger loop, that means that that is wire stretch. All right, now, next few steps is I got to put the handle right here for the pull cord, clean the carb, and go in the pile and see if we could get a primer bulb for this thing. And we should be ready for a test fire. Here's the replacement sky. Nothing fancy. Okay. You got your clap. You got these two tabs. There's two little holes on the side. Okay, guys. So, this particular part, the owner, he got these for me. These were the right parts well it's the right part for a 158 series engine not the 148 that we're working on but it goes in and it works but you can see how it's vibrating loose or i believe it will vibrate let me say that all over these mowers you can't really do, I apologize about the wing guys, but these mowers, you can't really do a no filter run on these <laughs> like I normally do. Okay, now we're going to clean the gas tank. There's garbage in there. Let's see if I can get you on There you go. So I'm going to clean the tank. There's also some white milky stuff in there. And we're going to clean the car. Okay, when you take it apart, you got to disconnect your linkages, your recirculation, and two bolts. There's one here, and there's one in the front. This one's actually missing. So we're going to replace it. He gave us a parts more. Okay, once you get the bolt out, there's a spacer in the rear. Make sure you don't lose that right there. there. I've come across a lot of mowers where the guys work on it and they lose that spacer. Oh, uh, he has a wire on this one holding it. That's where the bolt goes. He has a wire doing it. It works. 
All right, give it a little tug. I am slipping off the carburetor and gas tank off this lawnmower so I can clean it. Uh, there's a guy who gave it to me. Oh. He gave me this one and the other green one so I could fix it. Oh. Um, this one's actually connected. A lot of times this be broken, guys. It's actually piped in. So you can't lose it on this one. It's rare I see that. So let's get to the car. Damn, that's the, that is the neck. That's your primer assembly. You really, all you clean is just right here and your screen and that's it. But you can see this gas tank. It has something going on. You see that milky stuff. So we're gonna clean all of this, empty the tank, top it off with fresh fuel. And we're good. If you have this style, mom or his run funny, that spot right up in here, that's 99% of the time is the issue. You pop it off, clean that out, and you're good to go. Right here, we got some more garbage going on in there. Like, it's pretty, pretty gross. You can kind of see it right up in there, yeah. Okay, I just topped the oil off. It was half low, half full. <laughs> But um, I'm using right here. And I also pour some in the gas tank because I didn't dry it. I use water to clean it. And this is also um, 41, 40 to 1 ratio. So it might be a little smoky.
Alright guys, thanks for coming. Spot you in the next one.